What's up, Attack Free World? Joshua Grasso here with a lighting hack for you. It's a quick little tip for when you're in a pinch. All right, something that saved my butt this weekend on an engagement session. So, this hack is to use the nifty little cell phone light when you are in a bind and you need a little bit of a boost and you don't have your lights. So, why would a professional photographer not have lights on a shoot? That is unacceptable. All right, but okay, so here I am um, on an engagement session with my couple. We were on a place they wanted to go because they have been there for a date before. They kind of wanted a fun, casual, uh, engaged session with their kind of lifestyle, kind of playing around photojournalistically. So uh, there's a rooftop kind of park in Atlanta called the Roof on Ponds. And I don't think, I don't know if technically you're supposed to shoot there. There you know, a lot of places that are private. They don't care if personally you just have a camera and you take photos of your family and your friends, whatever. But they don't want any professional shoots. So... The easy way for them to manage that is to not allow lights or stands or tripods or anything like that. So that way, if you're just with your family and you want to keep picture of your kid or your wife, whatever, you know, they're not going to be harassing everybody that brings a camera, but they don't, to stop professionals from coming, they just get rid of the professional gear. So anyway, we're at the rooftop, we've got some daytime photos, um, but then it got dark and it was killing me because it was beautiful scenery, not allowed to use lights. And so what we did, I said, okay, maybe I can use my little cell phone light just so we can get something. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't, but I got to get something. So as you can see, um, it was very dark on the roof. Um, this is the scene that we had. Uh, this was ISO. I tried to get just a behind the scene shot of it real quick. I had to get to ISO 51,200 to just kind of expose the scene naturally. Obviously, that would have been terrible portraits. And you can see all the noise and everything like that. So I decided... What can I do to get my little cell phone light? And I decided, well, if I'm going to be using a cell phone light, I could be really close and I could be shining on them, but I can't always be up close. What if we play with it? Instead of taking this disadvantage of not having a light maybe and having to use a cell phone light, maybe I can turn that into an advantage. So I said, let's have some fun with it. And so they would hold the camera light like they were pretending to take a selfie. And look, with a high ISO, that's the great thing about these cameras. Um, you couldn't have got away with this a while ago, a few years ago, but at ISO 16,000 with my Sony a7 III, uh, you can see this one's unedited. The ex I, I might have a preset on it, but I didn't do any like pushing or anything. Um, but anyway, you could see how big of a boost that little light is able to give you with that sensitive of a camera. You could tell from the background how noisy it is that this is a high ISO situation. So, you know, you can't push it too far. You can't really get away with a lot, but their faces, the skin tones, which is what matters, no, loading, 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 of course, um, looks a lot better than it would have. See, it's still a little noisy when you zoom in because of the high ISO, but that's totally usable, deliverable portrait, especially with how good um, Lightroom will clean up the noise. And so I said, well, obviously, it's going to be a little bit cheesy. We're pretending to take a selfie. It might be kind of cute. Let's have fun with it. Had them play around, pretend that they're like being goofy and getting a silly, you know, portrait. And then I don't want all the photos to be silly cheesy selfie so then i moved in close and cropped out the arm so he is still holding uh the groom or fiance at this point uh was holding the cell phone lighting himself while i cropped out the arm and if you look really closely you could tell something weird's going on but i guess but it looks somewhat natural because you could just have his hand rela relaxing on the bench that he's sitting on so it totally looks like i lit them and this is at one one hundredth of a second f28 i was using a 24 to 70 lens that day because since we were traveling around up on a roof, I didn't want to have a lot of gear. So I only had one lens. So that's why I'm at F28 in the dark. Um, as you can see, you still get that cool rooftop amb ambiance of the light below, but they need a boost in the skin tones. The cell phone did surprisingly well, honestly, like I didn't, would not have expected something to look this clean, um, by using the cell phone light. And then we got to play around a little bit, a little bit noisy here. I'll probably clean that up more. Uh, playing around with shadows, projecting on the walls, something I wouldn't have been able to make without my cell phone light. Um, and really, the good news is we didn't get kicked out because we actually, I actually had a small pocket video light that I tried to use earlier in the shoot and got kicked, like, not kicked out, but he's like, you can't take photos, like, with lights. Uh, you can keep, you can take photos if you want, but not with lights. So I had to put it away right away, and that's where I got the idea of cell phone because we ended up going a little late, and it was just too good to pass up. And here's again, trying to do the portrait situation um, and then using the portrait as like a little backlight on a wall. Um, I, I had to edit this a little bit to make it pop more um, because it's just cell phone light. But being able to use a high sensitivity, you're able to get away with it. And this was a dark area with just lights in the ceiling. So it worked out in a pinch 
if you're in a pinch, that the cell phone lights um, can go a long way with giving you a boost. Uh, the only downside I would say is a tiny little light, so it's kind of a little. You're going to get hot spots, as you can see with these ones that I haven't touched up the face. It's a little hot, but honestly, I mean it's not too terrible. So if you're in a pinch, throw on your cell phone light and light yourself. And another little hack actually is if you're trying to use a cell phone camera to take a picture and the lighting is terrible. Grab another cell phone camera off to the side and don't use the one on your camera because it's like right in your face, right? And it's always got that like deer in headlights look. But if you can have one camera taking the picture and then hold another camera light off to the side, you're going to get cool lighting and um, that'll look pretty good. Because that's really the secret is having the light slightly off to the side so you get some dimension. You get some um, crafting of light versus just right all in your face, right? So cool little hack. Use your cell phone lights if you're in a pinch. Or if you are trying to be photographing in a restricted area, that's your little hack. All right. Have fun shooting out there. Guys.